Bikini Bottom, a normally peaceful undersea sanctuary, today it will be transformed into a theater of pure horror, wherein our little yellow friend will play the starring role. SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Hydrated is a complete remake of the original. Those of you who have played the original over 17 years ago will immediately be surprised at how they've taken everything from its first installment into an amazingly upgraded new version of the game. The most obvious thing to notice is of course the improved graphics if you compare them to the PS2 counterpart, you would almost think that they're not the same game. But also the music and even the gameplay has improved over time. Once again problems arise in Bikini Bottom. This time Plankton has come up with a new evil plan to get its hands on the famous crab burger recipe. With his new Diplicon 3000 he creates an army of robots to infiltrate the Krusty Krab. But unfortunately Plankton forgot to pull the lever from not obey to obey which resulted in a whole bunch of problems. It's up to you to help Spongebob and his friends Patrick and Sandy to help liberate Bikini Bottom from the robot plague. The biggest upgrade in this remake is the visual aspect. Spongebob has never looked this good in a game and it makes the original look like the colors faded away on it. Everything in the game now has a really cartoony colorful feel to it, where the original was often kind of grayish and ugly to walk in. This new version takes care of all of that. Even though some of the characters may look a little bit different than the animated versions, you can't deny that they look very nice, especially during the cutscenes. We've tested the game on a PS4 Pro and on the Nintendo Switch and can tell you that it plays good on both consoles but that the PS4 has a better frame rate at 60 frames per second while the Switch mostly ranges around 35 to 40 frames per second. It still looks good on both consoles but it brings down the experience on the Switch just a little bit. Even though the gameplay is upgraded a bit, it's still quite similar to the original, which in this case can be seen as something positive. For those who are familiar with the game, it will feel just as like you're playing the original with parts that weren't so good before fixed for a better experience. The combat in this game is quicker and the slides feel much smoother. I personally would have hoped they would have fixed some level design issues though since there were some well known problems before where you can get stuck behind invisible walls or will be dragged out of the level by the annoying large hand. Overall though, I would say that the gameplay runs much smoother and maybe more importantly, the camera has improved a lot. The sound upgrade isn't as extreme as has been done with the visuals. All the music and voice acting has been used in this one again. The only thing that they've done is take the mono version and remaster it to stereo. Unfortunately, this doesn't always work out perfectly. It's not a huge problem, but there were some instances that the audio just didn't work and that the sound effects just cut out. It just feels like not a lot of time was spent on this which is something I don't quite get if you look at the graphics side of everything. Even though this rehydrated version of Spongebob isn't always perfect, we're still very happy with this remake of Battle for Bikini Bottom. The game can be quite difficult at times when you try to collect all spatulas and socks, but then you can always skip a few and then finish the game first. The game is well suited for younger players and of course the for the fans of Spongebob. You can't really complain for a game that is priced at under $30 and looks as plays as Bikini Bottom does. If you generally like platform games and are looking for one to play right now, then I can only recommend you pick it up. In conclusion, Spongebob Squarepants Rehydrated is a visually appealing and fun to play remake of a platformer that was loved by many on the PS2 and it turned out exactly how it should. A trusted remake of an old classic that brings down enough stuff to the table. It's actually one of the few remakes that I found worthwhile compared to the original. It's far from perfect and has some gameplay issues but it also tries to bring back a feeling of older games to this new generation consoles. By immersing yourself in the underwater world of Spongebob, you will overall have a simple and enjoyable experience. All in all, I rate this game a 7 out of 10 points. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you do, please like us, subscribe and leave a comment. Furthermore, enjoy your day and peace out.